What's going on YouTube? Josh here. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about my training history. A subscriber had asked about this and I figured I'd make a quick video about this. So basically I started training when I was around 13, 14 years old back in 2003. I was essentially doing some form of a bro split for the better part of the next eight or nine years. Um, during that time I pretty much trained every single year. Although from 2009 to 2010 I actually took a year off from lifting weights. And that was definitely um, a hard decision to make and when I got back into the gym at the middle of 2010 it was pretty rough uh, it was pretty much like starting from scratch so fast forward a little bit November of 2011 I competed in a Tough Mudder which it, if you don't know it's like an obstacle course race where it's like around 10-12 miles a bunch of obstacles and uh, when I was training for that I was doing mostly endurance kind of stuff doing lots of long distance runs and some kind of more CrossFit style workouts. After completing that event, I was just really not happy with where my strength was or my physique. At the time, I was weighing around 160 to 165 pounds and I was weak as shit. So after that, I pretty much went on a mission to get strong. So I slowly started bulking up from 165-ish. Um, at the time, I was it was my first introduction to really any type of program more geared towards strength. So I was doing the a 5x5 program. I quickly upgraded from the standard 5x5 to the Mad Cow 5x5 uh, as I felt my progress was stalling. And pretty much for the next four or five months, I was just really on a bulk. And I ended up bulking up to around 190. I got mono, so that set me my training back a little bit. Um, and then I basically started cutting down. So after the 5x5 program, I switched to a 531 style program. So I was running 531 for uh, maybe about six months or so. So after I ran the 531, I moved over to um, doing my own kind of programming. I did a, a push pull legs for a few months after that, which, you know, it was okay. My, my main complaint with the 531 was that the frequency just wasn't sufficient enough for me. Uh, so I found that, for instance, my bench press did really well benching three days a week doing the 5x5, five five, but only benching once a week doing the 531. I actually got weaker, which, uh, you know, obviously is never a good thing. So anyway, after the 531, like I said, I did push-pull legs. I made my own kind of routine, although at the time I wasn't really very educated about what I was doing. And maybe at, at this time, which was roughly a little bit more than a year after I started focusing on strength training, I finally realized that the whole time I was squatting high. Uh, so that just goes to show the importance of videoing your lifts and being honest with yourself. So I had to kind of put my ego aside, drop the weight, and really work on my form at that point. So I was slowly bringing my squat back up. And uh, at this time, maybe early 2012, I decided that I wanted to actually compete in powerlifting. I just really didn't have anybody to train with at the time that was better than me. And I really think it's important to surround yourself with people who are better and more knowledgeable. And I kind of set out to look for a more serious gym, more hardcore gym. Long story short, I found a powerlifting gym that was kind of far. It was like 45 minutes. I started training there. I was being coached by a powerlifter who uh, was an ex-world record holder. Um, so that was a very good experience. During that time I was running a Sheko template, which if you're not familiar with, it's a high volume Russian program. I was running more of one of the beginner templates, but so since it's such high volume, it's really not a good idea if you're not used to that kind of volume to just jump right into one of the more advanced templates. Um, just because you're likely not going to be able to recover appropriately and you'll probably be exhausted from the workouts because they tend to run closer to three hours. I ran Sheko, um, I competed in two meets during that time when I was running Sheko. I ran Sheko for about four months. Uh, after that, I did a quick stint of trying out a Bulgarian style training, which is very high intensity, um, but relatively low volume. And quite frankly, uh, this works really well for some people. Uh, for others, it really doesn't. For me, I found that for my bench, actually, um, it was doing wonders. My bench increased 10 or 15 pounds over the course of maybe a month or two, which was amazing progress, but my squat actually went to shit. I lost almost 20 pounds off my squat. And overall, it was just very mentally taxing because you're pretty much maxing out almost every time you go into the gym. And, you know, missing lifts is just, it's not good for your psyche. It's really nice to go in and always hit your lifts. But I found that Mentally, it was just a little bit too demanding for me, 
and I wasn't making the progress that I wanted to on my lifts aside from my bench. So I stopped doing the Bulgarian, I went back to running Sheko for um, my next meet that I did in July of this past year. Um, I did pretty well in that meet. Coming out of that meet, I continued to run Sheko. I did another meet in August, which was a little bit quick to do a meet back to back. Um, basically after that meet I started doing a different style of training where I was being uh, I was essentially receiving programming from a friend of mine who does programming for some power lifters and this programming um, pretty much if you guys go to any of my training videos after like the end of August so pretty much from I would say like September to mid-November there was some interesting stuff in there some board presses which I wasn't used to using some chains for squats um, things like that and it was using uh, auto regulation so if you guys are familiar with the reactive training systems model of kind of using RPE scale, uh, that was that kind of programming. And I did definitely learn a lot from this programming using auto regulation um, and just learning some techniques along the way. So I made some decent progress and uh, I did a mock meet following that. After that mock meet, I decided I was going to do my own programming and I'm going to save that for another video because that's a whole topic on its own. But basically, that's my history with training. I know it's a little long, sorry about that. If you guys have any questions, if you want me to elaborate on anything, uh, please feel free to comment below. Thanks guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.